Welcome to MVR Stock Market. Please read the disclaimer before watching this video. In this video, I am going to explain about the trading psychology, most important points uh, in trading, how you uh, need to consider as a uh, market. So let us go to the PowerPoint presentation. So what uh, what are you thinking about the market? Uh, market is your friend or market is your enemy? So always you need to consider market as your uh, market as your friend. So no need to consider market as enemy. Market as uh, enemy because uh, you always uh, consider market as uh, your friend only. So. So what about or what are you thinking about the market whether uh, it is a probability a game or uh, it will certainly that this thing will happen or uh, uh, this thing will not happen. So you need to have a mindset of uh, uh, probability, uh, probability mindset. So trading is uh, only the certainty. Uh, there is no certain things will happen in trading. Only uncertain things uh, will happen. Trading is always uh, a probability game. Is always popular. So, how many opportunities? Uh, uh, how many opportunities you will find in the market? So, there are the limited number of opportunities in the market, in the market or unlimited number of opportunities uh, uh, are in the market. So, in the market, uh, you are having infinite number of uh, opportunities in the market. In the sense, uh, so you are having several stocks, uh, several information they will provide, uh, and several opportunities. Uh, uh, they will give so you need to filter the opportunities uh, uh, and uh, you have to grab the right opportunity so coming to the next point so so trading required a uh, huge amount of knowledge do you think trading requires huge amount of knowledge no trading is not required uh, any huge amount of knowledge nothing uh, nothing but if you want to trade there are the only the two options will have you can buy uh, uh, you can sell the uh, sell a stock or a mutual fund or anything. So a person with, uh, who is not having any knowledge, he don't know about uh, anything about stock market. The winning probability is fifty percent because uh, if you flip the coin, the probability of it coming is fifty percent, and similarly probability of it coming is uh, uh, fifty percent. Similarly, way, similar way, prob uh, stock market uh, trading, stock market trading is a zero probability means uh, probability game. So coming to the next slide, so set of rules and freedom, how you think about, how you compare the gambling and trading. So in gambling you are having a uh, set of rules are defined in gambling, suppose uh, if you are playing a run easy, so there will be a sequence and trail something, uh, something some information, some rules are there uh, in run -in. but in stock market, uh, you need to you need to define the rules uh, because you need to de design the strategy and you need to uh, work on the strategy how much loss you want to take how much profit you want to take uh, where you have to take when you need to take that's so many rules uh, you need to define in trading coming to me uh, coming Come to the next slide. Decide how much loss or profit. So most of the traders will uh, will thinking about uh, this much uh, profit I need to get uh, from today. But that way of thinking is not uh, the way of uh, uh, that thinking is not good. So decide how much uh, loss uh, you can uh, you can bear in the market. So suppose you are trading capital is one lakh. Uh, so you are doing it. You are doing a trading. So decide how many trades uh, you want to do. Uh, you want to do. And uh, suppose uh, if one trade, if you lost uh, uh, thousand rupees, uh, there will be thousand rupees means uh, there is one percent of one lakh capital. So fine. Uh, so next day you can trade. Suppose you are doing a over trading uh, and you done a fifty percent of fifty trades. Uh, fifty uh, fifty trades. Most of the trades are some trades are two thousand. You are ultimately you will lose fifty thousand rupees. So what will happen? Your trading capital becomes uh, off. So how much return you required uh, if the trading capital becomes uh, off? Uh, you require hundred percent, hundred percent earning. But if you lost ten percent uh, of uh, your capital, that requires eleven percent of uh, earnings. So, so decide uh, how much uh, loss you can bear before doing the trading. Coming to the next slide. So walk with the market, don't run. 
uh, work with the market don't and don't uh, want to become karopati in a single day or a single month or a single year so even if you consider the biggest investors Warren Buffett his CAGR is almost below 20 percent uh, from the last uh, 40 to 50 years below 20 percent average CAGR uh, so this side if you your bank interests are mostly mostly below 8 percent only so decide how much you can earn if you earn monthly 8 percent uh, then, then it will become it will become uh, around 96 percent your money will be double in one year so if you earn it per week one percent of your money excluding the brokerage charges uh, then uh, then it is also a good return four percent which is a 48 percent return per year uh, above an average one percent uh, some up and down so, so 30 percent or 40 percent per year it's a very good CAGR. anything more than 18 percent of the bank interest uh, more than 90 bank interest is a very good CAGR as my point of view so don't uh, run with the market don't try to run with the market walk only with the market so if you like this ppt if you like my app please uh, share and subscribe to mbs uh, mbs stock market um, I will see you in the next video. Thank you all. Bye. Thank you. Bye.